Welcome to Divine Message from the True God. What do we understand by the term God? Religions, most religions, would say God is the highest state of being, or the highest being itself, or the Creator. The Book of Light teaches differently. There are two planes of existence. One plane of existence is the world of appearances. Hell, earth and heaven. These three are, not according to some religions, are transient. Even the highest heaven is transient. Then there is another state of being. This is the world beyond the world of appearances. And this is where everything comes from. Nirvana. For the first time in 150 billion years, in this Mahamanvantara period of cosmic manifestation, the source itself reveals itself to us and says, you are all Christ's, yes, but Christ derives from me, from Nirvana, from a timeless eternal source, falling into matter, into manifestation, over and over again driven by desire. But I am the source. And if you want liberation, you detach from this insane world ruled by insane people, ruled by the devil itself. Because the Book of Light says, even heaven is the realm of Satan. Oh, even heaven. So the Book of Light teaches that the entire universe, visible and invisible, form and formless, rupa and arupa, is caused by Satan. But I do not mean the Satan taught to you by pedophile satanic priests in Vatican and in the churches, with exceptions with a few exceptions. I mean Lucifer. I mean the light carrier. Because when the spirit falls into matter, there is a friction. That friction causes a first cold light that later condenses into the planets and universes that we have right here. But this first being we call also in religion fiat, fiat lux. God said, let there be light. That means that the supermonad, as we call it, the first appearance out of the ever to be unknown, out of the source, falls into matter, causes friction, prepares root matter levels for the following beings who can continue their cosmic journey through time and space. This is our definition of Lucifer, of Satan. And in this world of appearances, heaven belongs to it, even the highest heavens. But beyond the world of appearances is the source. And out of that source, over and over and over again, the beings fall into manifestation during the so-called Big Bang, which is not a Big Bang per se, I would hope that scientists are listening to this. Because the Book of Light is a scientific book. So the highest in manifestation you may call God. That's actually what the religions mean. They just don't know it. But the source is, so to speak, 
higher this timeless eternal home. This nirvanic source, for the first time since 150 billion years, revealed its true nature, not only in the, in the Book of Light, but in a tiny little book called Divine Message from the True God. If you want to reach your source, the true God, you don't even need the entire Book of Light, 5,500 pages, as you can see in the PDF. But just this little book, aided by the mantra Om Mani Padme Om, you will return to the source, to timeless, eternal immortality, free from body, emotion, mind, soul, spirit. All these are dirt compared to the highest state. Glory to the Book of Light. But most people want to know before they detach or in order to attach wisely, they want to know how that cosmic machinery works. For them, the Book of Light, Book of Books, Savior of Mankind. Then you can use the PDF at no expense and you can begin to study. Tejasvi Namaditamastu. May your studies be of light. Devacha. Independent of persons and things Free from all desire There's a flame Burning coal An eternal fire It is the key To reality Forever free You are heaven to me Far beyond comprehension, yet so very near, there's a place with no dimensions, yet so very real, that is where I want to be, for eternity.